Have you ever looked at OpenSea and wanted to buy more than one NFT? Or maybe you wanna buy up a large number of lower price NFTs in a collection, AKA sweeping the floor, or as I like to call it, custodial arts. So it could be a number of reasons. Say you are a whale and you want to sweep the floor because of your conviction in a project, because you did your research and watched this video, or you're just a DGen that surfaced the signal and found out it would be a great opportunity to buy the floor NFTs because of its potential upside. But on OpenSea, you would have to go on one at a time, taking more time away from you to focus on floor prices, at least until Genie came along. This Genie is more Robin Williams OG than Will Smith. Hashtag not my Genie. So let's get into it. What's up, NFT explorers? Mike DeMazzo here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no-show resource. This video is for you if you want to learn about new tools to help you in the world of non-fungible tokens, aka NFTs. So let's roll the clip of me uh, using Genie and let you know what you think, or let me know what you think. Okay, so for this video, I wanted to go over Genie, which is a NFT market aggregator. So let's look at first their mirror article, just on introducing them, you know, the metaverses aggregator. It shows their mission with the world economy becoming increasingly digital nft marketplace uh, will be as common as today's online stores with most brands having their own primary marketplaces so if you read through it their main thing is being able to batch swap that means you want to be able to buy a bunch or even list a bunch of your nfts if you want to sell them um, Genie Swap is the first ever NFT marketplace aggregator on Ethereum. So Genie users can buy, sell, and trade across all NFT, all major NFT marketplaces in one single transaction. So the thing I like about that is, you know, I don't have to keep, if I want to just sweep the floor, I could just go into Genie, make sure it's there, select it. And it's not a fake account. It's not like some rug account or whatever the case is. So the cool thing is it supports not only OpenSea, but also NFT X and NFT 20 and Rarible. For NFT X and NFT 20, I'm going to do a future video about that. And just as a way of a way for people to dollar cost average into NFT projects if they are interested. Um, Genie Swap has undergone intensive private beta testing. Yeah, so the private testing. Um, yeah, I definitely, I'm not a whale, so I definitely wasn't part of that, but you saw like dingling or just other whales be able to use it um, when they were sweeping up floors. So they like to leverage four major benefits. All major marketplaces in one interface, batch buy and sell gas savings. So the gas savings will go into and more efficient routing. So the genie list, what's next? Um, ERC 1155 support. I believe they already have that. Uh, more marketplaces, more surprises. All right, so I have been using them. Oh God, I don't even remember when I first started. Well, whenever they allowed um, the general public to use it, basically non-whales, um, I started using it. Uh, I've had my miss, my misses and my wins with sweeping up floors. Uh, I feel like it's been more misses, but you know, you 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 learn from it and you kind of move on. So let's see. All right. So I'm sharing with you their official Twitter page. I like to make sure that I go through their Twitter page and then go through their website link um, in case I don't, you know, have it automatically um, auto populate. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see. I guess I wanted this to be a demo. So we will sweep one of these floors and we'll talk about genies um, or genie as it pertains to new users that want to interact with it. Now, the craziest part about this is they are actually, it's free. So you're not, you as the end user are not paying anything. There's no trend, there's no added fee um, and all that. Let's sweep, I don't know if we're gonna sweep, uh, interleave. Why is it indexed? Okay. Well, that was what I wanted to actually sweep. 
I'm not, I'm not, mm. okay, I'm not sweeping that. I, I thought about it, not gonna lie. Let's see. So in the event that this happened to me before where it did show that it was indexed, um, it was motherfuckers interleave. 63% index. Okay. So in the event that it does show that for you, you want to get the contract's address. So a way to do that, obviously this one's not verified yet. Come on, OpenSea. Verify, verify. Let's see. So I'll go to details, contract address. Make sure it's a token standard. It's ERC721 where there are people that's you know faking it they'll like just mint it and it'll be like a erc 1155 so this is the real deal holy field guy there grab that contract address where are we okay add the nft paste okay i thought it was i thought it was gonna work why can't i sweep Okay, let's see, that kind of sucks. For this video, let's sweep something else. Okay, motherfuckers. You know what, we're gonna sweep some motherfuckers because interleave was not working. Also, none of this is financial advice. Um, there we go. All right, let's scoop up, damn it. Let's scoop up two. I want to scoop up two or three. All right, let's scoop up two. Add that there. Updating order. Okay. So when you do try to sweep and it's already gone, it'll show you like it's sold. So you can't necessarily go buy it. So you'll have to go back, get rid of that one, go to the next one. Hopefully it's not out yet. All right, cool. Okay, so it's easy. As you saw, you select which ones and then you just confirm. Oh my God, I didn't even check gas. Uh, that's, that's fine. Okay, so now you just wait for the transaction to clear. Gas is about 75, not that bad. I definitely wish I would have done this earlier when it was around 50, 56. But Lesson learned is be mindful of gas. You know, if there's projects, if you want to, it's all on you if you want to ape into it and pay the high gas fees. But if you want to sweep floors, be mindful of gas and, you know, get a little bit of savings, more ETH to your pocket. Okay. So let's go over more about Genie Swap as, um, as the wish is pending. So they support all NFTs listed on the marketplace. They integrate integrate if it's not indexed which you saw was what happened um you would just copy and paste that collections contract address on the search bar uh they allow you to batch and buy and sell multiple nfts in one go so in one transaction their recommendation for users is a max of 20 nfts in a single swap so you don't want to i mean i'm sure you could probably do 21 but it's not recommended I would listen to them. It's their product. They know what they're talking about. So you need ETH to perform these transactions, meaning you need exactly the amount of ETH needed to buy and cover your gas costs. So another interesting, well, the thing that I really like about Genie is it's gas efficient. So it's obviously a lot of big brain stuff that basically their extensive use of libraries and delegate calls, as well as shifting any possible logic off chain when constructing a transaction. A transaction. Anyways, I am just a DGen trying to sweep a floor from, you know, what can be a rug pull. Not that the one I just bought right now is a rug pull, but there's definitely been some that I swept and it was, it was a whole new world basically. Um, let's see, where was I going to go with this? So I like to use genies because it ma maximizes, um, sweeping the floor and instead of like, okay, let me do one transaction, go buy there and then go buy another one. Like it just makes it easier, especially if I know I want to 
purchase a collection and have more than one of it. Um, right now, they support OpenSea and Rarible. I'll be, it'll be interesting to see when Coinbase NFT marketplace comes live and will they be integrating that. So the best thing about Genie is it's free. And, you know, I, I honestly like interacting with it. If there's one thing I learned from 2021 is interacting in different protocols that's safe and is for the good of the community, you're usually rewarded an airdrop. So I don't know, maybe all those rug pulls um, will amount to something if they do a token, but if not, I get it. Um, the whole tokenomics and doing a token is definitely complicated. Oh God, why is it taking so long? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, no wonder gas was going up. Let's see how long. Lord. All right, here we go. Let's bump it up. Only because for this video. Honestly, if I didn't do this video, I probably would actually, I, I would pretty pretty much get impatient um let's see hopefully it'll be done soon hey i think it's good come on just saw the transaction what a fail oh and I lost ETH. Okay, so, well, you know, this was for you, the viewer, to see that sometimes you'll lose ETH for a video. God damn it, that sucks. So, anyways, if you were able to sweep, um, it would show up there out of the 9,000... 900... 9,700 in the collection, about 422 items are um, up for sale. So everybody else has di diamond heads. Okay, so I know what it looks like that the transaction failed. However, it didn't and the NFTs were in my account, so it was all good. For me, I like to go in when I find projects at my entry point, which is under 0.5 ETH. Granted, there are projects that I'll degen or ape into if it's more than one ETH as long as I have it because I am not a whale and that's why I need you to tap that like for this video. So what did you think of Genie? Have you used it before and swept some floors? Do you think they'll do an airdrop even though they aren't taking any fees? Wow, I just realized Genie is such a great tool and definitely worth checking out. Let me know what you think. Tap the thumbs up for this video because it's good luck for future airdrops. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the alpha notifications on if you haven't already. Check out the other videos about NFTs and all the things in the world of non-fungibles. So stay legendary and I'll see you in the metaverse.